68-year-old Bernadette Chow approaches her workouts with the intensity of an Olympic athlete. Watching her go through her aerobic exercise routine, you would never guess that in February of 2015 she was hospitalized, unable to speak or walk after a series of strokes. Today she's back on her feet and speaking about her remarkable recovery, which she credits in part to a research study she participated in that pushed her to her physical limits. When they first started on the treadmill, they had to harness me in. Okay, they had to harness me in because there's no way I could do it. And then eventually they took the harness off and I was able to go on the treadmill by myself. It's called DOSE, Determining Optimal Post-Stroke Exercise. Uh, and it's looking at uh, how aerobic exercise can influence someone's recovery in the early weeks after they've had a stroke. Previous research has measured the benefits of exercise months after recovery, but this is believed to be the first study to look at the impact of increased exercise in the weeks immediately following a stroke. Traditional models of rehabilitation after stroke have largely looked at trying to get somebody back walking or trying to get someone using their hand again. And we know from uh, cardiovascular rehabilitation, so after someone has a heart attack, that aerobic exercise can really get things moving along quickly and helps reduce the risk of another heart attack or in our case another stroke. Chow was one of the first stroke patients in Calgary to take part in the new study. It was really intense but it was uh, lots of fun. I had lots of encouragement every day and every day I could see I was progressing a little bit more. So it was a lot of fun working with Bernadette and she improved fairly rapidly, a lot quicker than I was actually anticipating. Um, and she made a very good recovery in her motor function, her balance, um, her coordination, and really you could see her gait pattern improving on a daily basis and week to week there were substantial differences. So from the time that she first came in, she was requiring two people to help her with her walking and transferring. Um, by the third week, she was walking fully independently without a gait aid. So Bernadette has had a, had a very good recovery after her stroke. Uh, when I first met her, she was having difficulty walking. And I think as you can see, she's now running, she's back at home, uh, and she's still quite active and engaging in aerobic exercise. And by doing that, she's substantially lowered her risk of having another stroke, which is something that we both want for her. There were some days it was really, really hard. And there was other days not so hard. So there was good and bad days, but overall, when the time was finished, it was worth it. What we expect to happen is we expect that individuals who are receiving uh, more higher intensity exercise will have better outcomes. So they'll walk faster, they'll have better cardiovascular outcomes, they may even have better cognitive outcomes and their mood will be better at the end of the study. And that's one of the reasons we're doing this study. There was no stopping me because I wanted to get out of here and I walked out of here with my high heels. And that was my goal. The study is funded by the Canadian Partnership for Stroke Recovery and is happening in Calgary, Vancouver and Toronto. It will form the foundation for future, larger, multi-centred clinical studies in a growing area of research, stroke rehabilitation.